Okay. So, my mother-in-law has uh, charged me with uh, sharpening her knives, and uh, these are kind of special knives to her. They're given to her by her uh, her brother-in-law, who was a butcher. So, you notice these knives are kind of kicked way back. Uh, this is a more standard knife, but you can see the feathers. Chickens got in here and bolted a bunch of feathers everywhere. But anyway, so. <clears throat> I'm going to sharpen these up and I'll kind of show you the method of uh, how I go through it. And then uh, I'll have to dig it up, but I've got a book that I'll, I'll show you. In a very good book. Anyway, let me go find some uh, safety glasses and I'll be right back. More feathers. Anyway, so here we go. Um, I just checked this. I think this was a, like a 50 grit belt. Really coarse. Uh, <laughs> these things are very, very dull. Uh, you know, uh, I remember my grandmother, she used to, she would never allow anybody to sharpen their knives because she thought they would be dangerous. Well, a sharp knife is much more safe than, than a dull knife because when you're cutting through something, you're struggling and fighting, and then finally it tears its way through, and you have this, you know, uh, sudden release of movement, and it's not very well controlled. If it's sharp, it just glides right through and it's very controllable. Hence, it's much more safe. So, you know, yeah, it's it's sharp, it'll cut you, but you know, know your knives are sharp and just uh, act accordingly. So, anyway, and, uh, I don't know, just a service announcement, you know, make sure to wear safety glasses, no gloves around anything like this. You don't want to get your hands sucked into one of these get hurt really bad. Anyway, you probably ain't going to be able to hear me talking here, so I'm just going to get to it. Uh, I'm going to grind uh, more or less around 22 degrees, you know. Uh, if you have trouble envisioning what 22 degrees is, fold a piece of paper into a 45 and then fold that in half. That's 22 and a half degrees, so that's pretty close. Uh, that's good and nice keen edge, which you would want for uh, for a knife. Anyway, enough talking, more grinding.
four. Oh boy, I missed a knife. <laughs> well, anyway, there's four out of the five knives. They're all ground, and uh, you know, I, I went through and I ground, got a good burr on one side, then I went and did the other side, and then I went back and I just took most of that big heavy burr off. Um, the reason you want to grind until you get a burr, when you have an angle that comes together and you're grinding on this side, the material that's coming off, it's just like in machining, you know, you get a burr that builds up, it's, it's pushing some of the metal off and it's kind of bending it over, right? It's being pushed and it just curls up that way. Um, when two angles are machined to a point, it leaves a burr. So if you're not getting a burr, that means it's round still on the edge. Well, that means you're you're not close enough to sharp, you know. And you gotta move through, you know, these knives are terribly, terribly dull. Uh, I wouldn't even, has this one ever been sharpened at all yet? That one is actually fairly sharp, really. Oh, did I grind on this one already? I don't think I did. But at any rate, um, this one's pretty close. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, when they're so so dull that you could tap your finger on it and it's, you know, you don't even feel like it's a ding, like, you know, you would hit the back of this blade like that, you know, uh, you you got to go to the grinder. Uh, ideally, if you keep your, your knives up on stones, really, you, you almost never really need to because, you, you know, you can always use the coarse stone and then that kind of reestablishes the cutting edge and then you go to your fine stone and you kind of up your angle just a little bit and just polish the very edge and then you can do that several times uh, before you have to go back to the coarse stone but the more frequently you sharpen your knife the less the less effort it is each time uh, I, well, I'm in poor housekeeping at the moment but I actually shave with a straight razor and I probably only have to sharpen it with a stone maybe once a year because I, I strop it and I'm constantly polishing that edge and keeping it razor sharp because let me tell you what if it's dull you really really know it. It's like getting scratched with a, by a cat or something you know. Uh, a dull knife cuts terribly and really shaving with a knife is a, is a very good way to determine how keen it really is. Well, anyway, that's it for grinding on these knives here. She gave me, I probably got 15 more knives to do, but uh, nonetheless, let's go uh, take a look at some sharpening stones.